Hey guys, like I said, to yesterday or today I will be reviewing my Samsung VCR. So, today's the day. The Samsung VR5060. Show you the front. Forehead video system. It's not this VC is not real is not really special. I mean this is just a forehead mono machine, but it could be better. I wish it was hi fi stereo. But anyway, this one's not gonna be a keeper. I will review this and I'm gonna donate this back when I get the chance. So here's the inside. Mr. Manioscope requested me to get this VCR at a thrift store. We were on Hangouts ch talking. He wanted me to get this one. So, request accepted. And, I w and I'm reviewing it right now for you. Again, I'm not keeping it. Because it's too basic. But I will show you the bottom side of the chassis. Just if you guys really want to know how basic this is. So, th yep. This is Samsung's own VCR. It's... It's very own. It has its very own chassis. It's all Samsung. I mean, these machines are uh, have problems like the idler assembly, which will um, get worn out and it'll be, you know, it will have a hard time rewinding or fast forwarding to the end. But this one does not have this problem. And here's the loading assembly. It is there is actually a VCR like um, like. With, a, with the loading motor facing the other way, like facing um, this way and not vertical, uh, horizontal, yes. They have, Samsung made one that has the loading motor facing horizontal, yeah, yeah, horizontal. And this one actually face, the mo loading motor is vertical. And um, the loading assembly is pretty similar to the other common ones. You've seen, I bet you've seen a lot of those VCRs online countless times. And I have too. I have actually done some maintenance on it. It always worked, but I decided to um, grease all the gears, check the belt. Well, I did replace it just to, so it can be a little bit tighter. Clean the heads um, and all. I also greased the bottom side as well. You'll see them in the uh and later. So it's just a it's just a basic VCR, nothing too fancy on this thing. I mean I don't know how to explain this, but it's very basic for me to me. I mean I'll show you what I mean. I mean well, before I do any of this, I'm gonna load it from the, I'm gonna show you the top side first. Well, since Mr. Manioscope wants me to review this and buy it, and, me, and he wants me to buy it, I'm gonna use his tape he gave me, to be fair. Focus camera. Hold on, wait, wait. If I zoom out, there we go, there we go. Eject. Well, nothing too fancy. It's very similar, it's similar to the other Samsungs, the newer ones, but there's a few differences. Loading motor assembly. I don't have my light on me because I'm currently filming in the daytime in the sunlight. Eject. Every gear has been greased. 
nothing on the left side. I'll let it play for you. So I can show you the tape path on this. Since there's nothing else to really look look on this. Pretty basic. Half holding on. No, that's not half. That's a tension arm. That was just a damaged spot. Or a splice spot, I don't know. See? Extremely basic. Nothing too fancy. You have to hold this. Load. See how this does. Oh, you could also see some of the tape guy gears move. Fast forward, stupid me. It's fast forwarding at pretty good speed. But I've seen a few VCS with, the me with this mechanism that could rapid rewind, rapid fast forward. Oops, sorry for shaking this, let me still. Rewind. Now it's rewinding a little bit, I mean slower because the tape is at the, near the beginning. I'm gonna let it auto stop. Sometimes the loading mode doesn't time it correctly. Time where it should go into another rewinding position. Let's try that again. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to do, but that's nothing to worry about. I've cleaned the mode switch on this as well. Eject. Now, since we just, since the top side has been reviewed, let's go on to the bottom side. Well, I'm going to have to tell you that I can't, you're not going to see it in operation because there's pins or plugs that have to be, that, that are required for it to work. Alright, so here's the bottom side of my VCR. And, um, it's not really too much, nothing too interesting on, on the bottom side. It's pretty basic overall, so that's why I'm reviewing this, and I'm gonna donate this back. And I have replaced the belt just to be sure. And I, you can see I greased the tape guides and gears. Oh, I missed a spot. Hold on, let me film myself doing it, so you know what I actually do to service. If you didn't see, well, I'm sorry, I, I can, I don't have, I can't, um, do both things at once. I have to pick one or the other, which hand I'm going to, uh, work on with. And just cover up my grease. My if you want to work with VCRs and grease the gears, um, I'm currently using Lucas Oil Products. White lithium grease. I use super loop too. Make sure to look out for that because that that that's actually reliable. It's both grease and lubricator. Focus. There's a little hole where the mold switch goes in, and there's the mold switch right there. Manufacturing date. 
um, I think it's June, I don't know if it's June 4th or April 6th. So it's 18 years old. If it isn't, if it is April. 2004, 6. Um, hold on, what would that be? Is it like the opposite? Like 2004th of June? Well, in my title, it does. Well, in the beginning of the video, it did say 18 years old. So, since it's 2018, I'm just gonna round it up to 18 years. So, this VCR is 18 years old and still works. So, here's everything. Well, look at all the grease I put on in order for it to work a whole lot smooth and all. Oh, should get rid of some excess grease too, just to, uh, you know, be sure. We're done with the bottom side. Now I'm going to show you the picture quality right after I put back, put all this back together. Alright, so this VCR is now hooked up to my TV. And I'm going to show you... Oh, there's hair on my... Sorry, there's hair on, hair on, my, on the LCD screen on my camera. So, show you the picture quality. Picture's good, but for some reason the sound is muffled. I'm not turning my music. I'm not not music. I'm <laughs> I'm not even turning. I didn't even turn the TV down. Let's let me check. Unless, let me try this. Maybe it's because of this tape, I'm not sure. It did okay on the other monophonics. Let me try... Haha, this one. It's recording Hi-Fi too. Alright, it seems like the sound's okay, but, um, maybe it's just better off if you use this VC on a CRT TV, but I'm not sure. But, so, that's gonna be it for this video, oh, and by the way, if you wanna know, you rewind it first. If you wanna know what this video, what this video I just played... On this, uh, on the VCR. This is, this is my, one of my channels I watch that I really like, John Bills 1. He makes awesome Pokemon anime, no, animation videos, SFM. I mean, ch trust me, his channel is the shit, man. It's amazing. You should watch it if you're a hardcore Pokemon fan like I am. And of course, the other tape I was using is, was Angry Grandpa. <laughs> Rest in peace to him. So, that's going to be it for this video. Um, if you want to see more of these videos, please make sure to smash that subscribe button and hit the bell icon. And I will see you in my next video. Be kind, rewind.